Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our morning message. We also want to take time to remember those who have given their lives in our military service for the freedoms that we now enjoy. I want to also encourage each of you to continue to remain diligent in keeping yourself safe and healthy, checking on those um, that we know of that may have needs and ministering to those that we can where we can. It is a blessing of the Lord that we are able to share God's word with you again today. This morning, I want to look at the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 9a. 2 Corinthians 12, 7 through 9a. The text reads, And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient unto thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. I want to talk about God's grace is sufficient. And with everything that is going on and all that we're experiencing as individuals, as a nation, and as a church, we need to be reminded that God's grace is all that we need. The God we serve is able to meet all of our needs. Paul reminds the Philippian church that God would supply all of their needs according to his riches in glory. God gives us what we need spiritually as well as physically. He is the supplier of all of our needs. Spiritually, if we seek him with all of our heart and draw near to him, the word is that he will draw near to us. Physically, God meets our needs. No matter what we are facing or enduring, God is there to supply our needs. God is the giver of grace. And as he promised Abraham in Genesis 15, 1, that he would be Abraham's shield and his great reward, God is our shield, our protection, and he is our reward. As a matter of fact, he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. God gives us his grace, his undeserved mercy, his undeserved goodness to deal with the predicaments that we're facing in our lives. Whether it's the power or the penalty of sin, whether it's death, weakness, hopelessness, and even meaningless in our life, to name a few, God is there to supply our needs. We can trust God, we can believe his word, and we can rely on him. Yes, brothers and sisters, his grace is sufficient. In this text this morning, God has revealed himself to Paul in a very powerful way. Paul had had a revelation that said that he had been caught up into paradise into a third heaven and God had spoken to him and given him words that he didn't even feel like he could utter. Yet being in the very presence of God and God speaking to him, Paul still had some difficulties and was facing what the text calls a thorn in his flesh. We're not sure what it is, but this text gives us the practicality of God's grace being sufficient. God 
gives us what we need. Verse nine, the first part of that verse, the Lord replies to Paul when Paul asks God to remove the thorn, he says, my grace, God's grace is sufficient. We also need to understand that in our weakness, God's strength is perfected. As a matter of fact, it is said in the text that his strength is made perfect in weakness. God uses the weak things and weak people in order to accomplish his will and to bring about his way. We're not able to accomplish anything on our own, but God can, God working through us and God working on us, not by our power, not by our strength, but by his spirit, God will enable us. God's power is displayed when we are able to accomplish the things that we thought were impossible. God is glorified and God is made known when he uses weak vessels like you and I, brothers and sisters, in order to accomplish the impossible. God is glorified as he was at the Red Sea when Israel is going across and he destroys the Egyptian army. God is glorified by the three Hebrews in the fiery furnace when he shows up and not even a hair on their head was singed. God was glorified on Mount Carmel when Elijah, going against the prophets of Baal, called on his God, Elijah's God, and God answered by fire. God is glorified when Christ got up out of the grave in Jerusalem on that third day morning. God is glorified, brothers and sisters, in you and I, when we are victorious over what seems insurmountable odds. Yes, brothers and sisters, his grace is all that we need. As we continue to fight and to strive in the midst of the pandemic, remember that God's grace is sufficient. Let us pray. Almighty and all wise God, we thank you for your power, protection, and for your provision. We pray that you will continue to keep your hand on our nation, on our communities, on our church, and on our members. And in our time of weakness, dear God, may you be our strength and may you be glorified. Remember us now and thank you for your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless you.